I'm the best there is at what I do. And today, that's wearing a cowboy hat. Howdy, 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 howdy. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, we're taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends fan channel exclusive Spider-Man and Wolverine, or Big Time Spider-Man and Logan. Now, there's absolutely no reason to review these together, but essentially, they're just the same figures we already have with some tweaks here and there, some a different paint job in Spider-Man's case, a new head in Logan's case. They're both fan channel. I picked Logan up at GameStop and then got Spider-Man from Dorkside Toys. He, he shipped, uh, was it last week? But I'm a sucker for Wolverine in the cowboy hat and I'll always take a spider-man upgrade that's worth buying we'll get to that looking at the packages both are your standard Marvel Legends packaging big windows you see most of what's in there the backgrounds nicely reflect the character you have the Wolverine logo spider-man down here on the side comic art of both characters I really like that texture look to the spider-man I wish the actual figure had it but you can't have everything on the back pretty promotional shots of both bios for both since these are single releases you don't have the rest of the wave down here so they have to fill it up with a big old warning in many languages. On the other side, same comic pictures. On the top, logos for both characters. I dig that in green. On the bottom, more legalese, barcodes. But I'm gonna get both of these open and see if these are worthy upgrades for the shelf. Ooh, and out of the package, they're just as nice as I was hoping they would be, except for one thing. Taking a look at Logan first and the elephant in the room, his hat. I'm not the first to mention this. I actually read it on the forum somewhere, but this seam or this notch or this little nick out of the front, we're gonna call that the front for a second. It's just not great looking, but several other people have commented that the hat may be on backwards. It's more of a point. It's more turned down a little bit, like you think of cool guys wearing cool cowboy hats. While this end is more flat here and here. So I'm gonna boil some water, try to pull this off see what's going on here and see if we can flip this around. Okay, getting the hat off. <laughs> There's a lot of glue in there and a big old peg. And when you heat this up, the hat gets very, very soft. So if you're planning to do this, you get it hot, be a little careful when you pull it off. Just slowly peel, slowly pry, and they'll eventually come off. But looking at the hat with it off, it as a cowboy hat without any kind of, you know, knowledge of where it actually goes, you would assume this is the front of the hat, this is the back, and there's that little notch right there. So I'm thinking it was on there backwards. The hat is molded to only go this way. You can't just pull it off, flip it, and stick it on there. It doesn't fit on the head at all. So what we're gonna have to do is cut a little of that ridge out of the hat itself, cut some of this off the top of his head, and then glue the hat down because I want that downturned brim over his eyes a little bit. Clip just a little bit out. Cut a little of Logan's plastic mohawk off. Not quite. What I ended up doing was dremeling out, well, roughly, very roughly dremeling out the whole inside of the hat. And that's gonna work out really well once I get some glue on it. Just like that. I feel like that's better all the way around. Especially profile. You have this dip down right here. This is straight on the back. It has more right here than right here. As far as I'm concerned, in my mind, this is the way it's supposed to go. With Wolverine's hair and overall proportions, it makes it look like the hat is a little bit small, but I think because of where you see the skin coming up, if you disregard the hair altogether, the hat is the right size. But looking at the overall piece, I just like this body. It works well with the superhero costume body that they've come up for Wolverine. It's about the same size. It's what Wolverine should be, short and stocky. But I also like the subtle sculpting work that they've done on the body in places. There's a texture to the shirt, the same for the jeans. The lighter dry brush on top of it helps make it look like worn denim. I really, really like the sculpt down around the boots. Just enough arm hair painted on to make it look like Wolverine without overdoing it. Sure, it could have probably carried down to the hand but you know but it does come up around the chest and while we've looked at the head we haven't talked about it being one of the better Logan sculpts the eyes are still kind of far apart but I don't know I think of Logan as not the prettiest guy on the planet this comes across as a nice in-between and then the cocky little smirk with the cowboy hat I, I don't know this works and then with spider-man we've seen this before pizza spider-man uh, spider UK I think and people say that it's a little bit scrawny a little bit thin but I'm okay with Peter being even though he's tall to be like unnaturally thin but strong oops there's almost an unnatural element to it that kind of gives him a creepy factor and again even though spider-man's humorous he's upbeat I i'm okay with him being just a little bit scary and if you watch this channel at all you know i love the aesthetic of the symbiote suit the white against the black just the nice 
two color tone it just works overall and you add kind of a neonish green to it I like it even better. Okay, maybe not even better, but <laughs> I do like it. The body is nice and agile. Well, we'll talk about this in a minute. I don't know. So most of the heavy lifting for this figure is the paint job. And in that department, it's very straight, very crisp. And now the coverage could be a little bit better. You can see right here, missing some paint. A little bit inside the logo. A little bit worse here on the back. Just spots of black showing through the green. And then up at the head, I feel like I got luckier than uh, some of the other reviewers out there. I have a little bit of edge right there and maybe may have missed just a little bit on this line but for the most part that's a good looking head the green plays off the black very nicely I do have a little bit of shininess right here for whatever reason in the black but it works when you get away from it a little bit going over articulation there's a hinge at the top of the neck with a ball going up into the head he can look up can look down not a lot of tilt unfortunately but big swivel hinge and swivel at the arm goes up to 90 rotates around swivel at the bicep double elbow the bicep kind of gets in the way but it does come past 90 hinge at the wrist swivel ab crunch goes forward arcs back swivel at the waist ball joint coming out to the hip can come up to here back out not terrible swivel at the thigh double knee oh he can't kick his own ass hinge at the ankle goes back a little bit pants get in the way goes forward and then forward facing pin for rocker for spider-man essentially the same setup there's the hinge there's the ball at the top can look up can look down better tilt though mm -mm 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 -mm. swivel butterfly shoulder nice range going forward going back hinge a swivel at the shoulder coming out of that up to 90 rotates around swivel at the bicep double elbow comes most of the way up hinge swivel hinge at the abs but it only goes forward that much i wish it being a spider-man he'd crunch down a lot more. And then arc back to about right here because if I go further, it gets locked in the detent and it springs back. Pull back, Master of the Universe attack. Swivel at the waist, ball coming out to the hip, does come up to there. And with the cutout right there, if you take this and rotate a little bit, you can get even more. Back, whoop, you can, if you come out with it, you can go as far as you want. Out, still not the greatest for Spider-Man. Need to work on that. Thigh swivel, double knee, uh, yep, oh, easily kicks his own neon green ass. Well, there's no knee on there, but you know hinge at the ankle nice range back nice range forward and then forward facing pin for accessories logan comes with two fists with claws out i don't know after being spoiled by can of beams metal claws I'm gonna have to buy a bunch of sets of those. Get these replaced because yeah, you can heat these and get them straight and, but why bother? That pops out and you can swap out to hands without claws that have grippy hands on them. I think this is because this is a lot of reuse from the Riders Wolverine who had to hold on to the motorcycle handlebars. But he does also come with a Muramasa blade. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it's the blade that can kill an immortal or a healing mutant, whatever. We've seen this blade several times. It goes in his hand fairly nice nicely it looks okay and then you can pop the head off and he comes with an alternate berserker barrage wolverine head and this isn't bad either i like the sculpt i like the paint but there's still something to it this one's a little bit better than what we saw with weapon x but it's still kind of bored kind of just going through the motions if i were king of the forest but like i said not as bad as that weapon x head and then for spider-man you get two fists and those pop out very nicely you get two thwip hands and you get two wall crawling hands you know the assortment we should get with every spider-man figure i do wish there was an alternate head though while i like the big eyed look for spider-man looking at the comic art for this costume it's always been a smaller type eye look to it so i kind of wish they had given us this one too with the neon green on it i just feel like that would be a little bit more accurate and then he comes with this spider web we've seen it several times there's kind of a twirl on one end a triangle on the other and because he doesn't come with a hand that actually holds anything you can pop this off put that through the triangle to here and then you have him swinging or holding or at least faking it it's a nice simple solution i mean they could have given us grippy hands but at the same time this works height wise logan stands at about six inches tall to the top of the hat but he is wearing the hat and cowboy boots so ah. while spider-man stands at about six and a quarter inches tall Oops. Here's fan channel Logan with the Marvel Legends Riders Wolverine and the Marvel Legends Old Man Logan. You can see the reuse from those other two figures. I have a custom I Bent My Man thing head on this just to change it up a little bit. And then here he is with the Marvel Legends Wolverine with the can of beam metal claws. And then here's the Mezco 112th Collective Logan with cowboy hat, jeans, boots, same thing. Little more lifelike here, but this also costs 60 more dollars than this. So I fully expect something like this to have a little bit more realism to it. I love this, 
but I love this too, for what it is. Because here he is with his traditional enemies, Omega Red, and then of course, Sabretooth. And then unfortunately, I don't have the older version of this figure. Back when they showed the prototype of that with its glowing green, I was excited, but when it finally came out, it kind of looked like shit. And that's why it's become known as Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, someone say Big Time Letdown Spider-Man? You can see on that original that the neon green was on there, but the parts with neon green on it, they instead of doing a cool glow to it, they just kind of slapped a lighter coat of green there and it did not work. I just like the overall proportions better here. I like the paint job. I would have liked to seen kind of a glowing effect going back to that original prototype, but if the factory can only give us this, then I'm okay with this. <laughs> here he is with that Marvel Legends Spider-Man that uses that same body along with the bulkier body of Scarlet Spider. I'm okay with this, but I'm also okay with this. The, it, both have their pluses while both have their negatives too. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Morbius and Mary Jane. It just, it just fits right in. I like Peter being thin like that. And then for giggles, here's the Marvel Legends Far From Home Spider-Man and the Metacom Mafex comic book Spider-Man. So at the end of the day, two fun, easy figures to get on the shelf. I'm loving the fan channel stuff. A lot of people look at it and think, oh, well, it's just the same figures we already got, just with different paint or a different head. I feel like that's exactly what we needed for the fan channel stuff. It's easy to get. You can order it from a lot of outlets. You just wait for it to come in. It's easy for Hasbro to make. It's different looks for characters. So while you may not like all of them, somebody else will like them. Maybe somebody else wanted a Cowboy Logan. Maybe somebody else wanted a redo of Big Time Spider-Man. Me, I'd still like to see the red version of this. Or was there another version too? I don't know, I wasn't reading comics. While I like the proportions on this Spider-Man body, it is a little bit stiff. As I got into more and more poses, I thought, hmm. Maybe I would like a different body for this. But I really, really feel the proportions fit the design of this costume. So that kind of outweighs the ability to get into more Spider-Man-like poses. And then Logan, do I have to say it again? Damn cowboy hat, I'm a sucker for it. Now I gotta get my beers out that I've bought, Gus, and my cigarettes, or I need to find a cigar, maybe some bottles of alcohol. That's how I think of this Wolverine. Back in the day, you got used to him in his costume. So when he would pop up like this, you'd think, oh, there is a man under that costume. The little badass does have a human side, and that's what I like most about this look. Easy additions to the shelf. I just pre-ordered, I got them, they go up, they look great. This is just another outlet for people like me <laughs> who will just buy anything Marvel Legends to get stuff without having to worry about buying the whole wave or going to San Diego Comic-Con or getting it from somewhere else. I'd also like to thank Shardimus for helping me out with the comparison here. I just never got that original figure and just the name Big Time Letdown is so synonymous with him that psh, couldn't help it. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.